Now here's my updated World War I stuff, everybody. Now, as you can see, I've gotten quite a bit. I just originally just had the helmet, both gas mask bags, and then the belt. Okay, so here's the belt, 1918, I'm assuming, because it's the late war pattern without the cinch butt, puckered, puckered ends. Uh, and then my at the front still, repro, um, 1910 first aid pouch, and then a shipper fabric bandage. Then this is new, got this pretty recently at Reenactor Fest. 11. Um, shipper fabric, pea green with eagle snaps. Pea green with eagle snaps. Uh, 1910 canteen cover. The one I used on, I would, I'd probably use for, instead may, might be the, that World War II one, that early World War II one. But then in here is a original 1918 dated canteen, steel top canteen, and then a 1953 dated cup. It's just for filler. Yeah. Alright. Then this I got fairly, well, last year. This I actually got after I made my last video. Uh, the Peoria, Illinois reenactment. This is a 1918, I'm assuming again, because there's no date. It's worn off. Um, 1910 Haversack with this interesting unit marking on here. I'm assuming since it's regimentally done, I think it's 146 Louisiana. But then again, nice US, and if you can see here, I don't know if the camera picks it up at all, but. It practically matches the belt, like, the fading is, like, to a T. Then again, my shipper fabric, small box respirator, British small box respirator. Eh, I don't want to get it out. <sighs> and then the American 1917 respirator bag that I still need to get cleaned up from all this, like, tar substance that's on here. But I mean, the date is practically like perfect here. And then, of course, the field, the field modified thing for its use as a handbag. Of course, it could have been probably done as like a satchel bag after the war in civilian use. And my axe, my hand axe, of course. Pretty clean 1942 dated one cover. The only difference between the World War One and World War Two covers, obviously, is one the hardware and two the U.S. wouldn't be there, and then the back would just be the manufacturer in 1918 or not dated at all. The shovels were kind of the same, except I don't know if the green or the the green would be on here. But the only event I'm thinking of doing World War One is pretty much the Rockford event that they do in April, so they you can get away with a lot because they know it's not a big enough issue and the fact that it's the past two event the first two events have been muddy beyond all get out, so well for my shovel all I need is a World War One pattern cover with the different They will let you use World War Two equipment that resembles World War One. Um and World War II boots, or post-war German boots, depending on what you use. For the rubber soles, obviously, they'd last a lot longer than the trench boots. Alright, so that's pretty much it so far. I mean, I don't have much anything else, so... I mean, for pretty much every impression, I've got a full web set, at least. Basic full web set, I mean... It's about as good as one can get, so see you later. Alright, here is my 
World War One German stuff, all of this, with the exception of a few things, I've gotten pretty much just last year or just recently. Uh, these I got at Rockford last, like two years ago. These are old. These are um, uh, old at the front, defective Y straps, lightweight Y straps. Of course, you can tell why, because they died the wrong side. But. I technically could, because guys did dye stuff black in World War I to keep the sheen off, so I could just say this was... I just dyed my stuff black. And they did have these in World War I. But just these, they didn't have the, the more... The ones that were more modeled after the Tornister packs. I do want to get one of those, though. Start out... Most of this stuff is from Hessen Antique or IMA. Start out here... Hessian Antiques, Model 14 bread bag, the field gray one for mid to late war. Model 16, gas mask bag for the early gas masks, which I have here, the Gumi Masca, which they later figured was the, the rubberized canvas wasn't exactly the best thing for them, and it was getting expensive, which is why you see the later mask by 1917 replace this. This is also a Hessen product, and it's freaking huge. Um, I need to get like rubber bands and stuff to just keep it on my head. Not for the pistol, but not for the equipment belt itself. Uh, the belt, just your standard 1909 pistol uh, equipment belt and Prussian Prussians, and then the Prussian belt buckle, original model 1909. Uh, ammunition pouches, the used and abused ones you see a lot at gun shows and stuff. And by the way, the SA stamps are on a lot of them, which that's from the Finns when the Germans sent a bunch of this stuff to the Finns, these to the fin Finnish army, and that's where they got modified and such. As you can see, this one has leather and riveted reinforcing, and then new equipment put onto it. <laughs> Here's some stuff I could use depending on what I'm doing, either rifleman or at least for this piece of equipment here, like a Stosstruppen or a Stormtrooper impression trench raider. Same thing with the with this flats with this East German spade. Um, this is a hanger for a the harness for a model a C96 broom handle Mauser. So basically, I could have this for like if I was raiding trenches with a, with one of them. Then this is for the clips, for spare clips. I could also use like the engineer pouches, the pioneer pouch, ammunition pouches for the Mauser 88, which were also used, often used. Basically, what those are is just what what most World War II reenactors and collectors call the. The sanitators, the sanitates, the medical pouches for sanitators, sanitators, they use them too, but these guys also, they were originally designed off a weapons pouch. And then instead of the gas mask bag, I could use the tin. Though so this was for one of the later war gas masks. This also does fit in here. Oddly enough, this is from IMA. Oh, these two are from IMA. Uh... A uh, German trench knife that I could use actually for both wars, actually. Again, the East German spade. As you can see here, this edge was sharpened as well as this, so this could be used as a shovel, an axe, or the spade to hack away at people. And finally, the cavalry helmet. The Model 18 last war end of the war cavalry helmet. Because I'm pretty much focusing on a Stoss Trooper, Trench Raider, Rifleman at the very end of the war. So, that's all. Hoping to get more. So, Wiedersehen and Glücklich and Glücklich Liebe.